Uh, hey everybody, welcome back to Bob TT. Some very sobering, very sad, tragic news coming to us from Ghent Wevelgem, uh, from uh, uh, the Belgian classic, uh, the death of Antoine de Moitier, a Belgian cyclist on the Wanty uh, Goubert team, um, succumbing to his injuries sustained in a crash during Ghent Wevelgem in France. Uh, uh, the race goes uh, for a short period of time into across the border, uh, very close. And so in Lille Hospital, it was Antoine de Moitier um, dying of his injuries after crashing and being hit by one of the motorcycles from the caravan and deepest sympathies and condolences to the family of Antoine de Moitier. Um, at this point, um, the UCI has got to do something about the number of vehicles in and, am and around the peloton and uh, that follow uh, the caravan and follow and go in front of uh, the riders in the peloton. This is very challenging uh, to keep the riders safe. Uh, the motorcycles oftentimes have to leapfrog um, ahead after they secure the road that the riders are traversing. Um, when they hold the cars back from the intersections as the riders move forward in the races, uh, they have to get back around the caravan. Most of the time, there's ways to uh, use side roads to get ahead and stop the traffic as the pel before the peloton gets to it, but that's not always possible. Um, that's one thing that's going on. There's TV motor motorbikes, there's team cars, um, there's the officials. Um, there's uh, the race, the, the race vehicles of uh, the director of the race and all the team cars. And then you have a flotilla of motorcycles also that carry um, the photographers and, uh, and journalists. And so um, something has to be done. And this is a chance for the UCI to lead in the safety of the riders, which basically that's what their job is. Uh, promoting the sport for sure, but the safety of, of the riders, um, that's the job of the UCI. And uh, um, what I've noticed in recent years, and I've just done a video about this a few weeks ago, um, so everybody's free to take a look at that, and uh, uh, an increase in the collisions between riders and vehicles, uh, including the Tour de France, so no race is immune to this. and. And it just seems like, and so far, we haven't had such a devastating result from those collisions. But now we do have a rider being killed uh, at a race. And it's been very worrying for me. In my day as a racer, I can remember being in line and hearing the motorcycles as they pass. And I believe me, you're scared for your life. And they're coming so quickly. So you hear it, and you just hope and pray that they don't uh, run into you. And what happens if, if that's fine, you know, the peloton is in a long line, the riders are going fast, a motorcycle or a car uh, capable, go, uh, capable of going much, much faster and can get ahead and get their job done. Um, and, but if there is a crash as they're passing at high speeds and, and oftentimes very close, there's just not enough space to avoid that every time. And, we see it so frequently now uh, that it's become very, very worrying. So the, the UCI needs to lead at this point. They need to, to, to come up with a solution and an agreement whereby the Peloton is a much safer place. That's the bottom line. And we hopefully can prevent this from ever happening again. Whether we need fewer vehicles following the race or do they need special training? Do they need to know, do they need to understand better um, what could happen if they're incapable of stopping and a rider falls in front of them? All of those things need to be discussed. There's a lot of details that are gonna come to light in the days to come. And I hope, and I'm asking the UCI to take the lead on this and have an open and adult conversation about what needs to be done. And the bottom line is the rider's safety. And like I said, let's hope that this never happens again. Um, thanks everybody for watching. 
and I hope I never ever have to do another one of these videos again. And um, Godspeed to Antoine de Moitier, and God bless his family and friends, and God bless the sport of cycling. Everybody, please be careful out there.